So let's jump directly into the first uh, point, into the gun chart improvement. So uh, in the gun chart we have um, a lot of things that we um, uh, um, did for you. So for example we have now the possibility to create uh, project notes and acti activities directly in the gun structure with a right click. You can decide what you want to create activities and project notes. Um, we have drag and drop there, so um, drag and drop available in Microsoft Serum for the first time ever, so um, uh, be surprised what, what you will see in a few seconds. And um, uh, so uh, you have um, additionally the possibility to um, directly mark and complete um, some entries in the project tree. So let's have a look on this uh, functionality here um, in the live system. So I jump in our uh, fourth module here on Microsoft CRM. So um, let's have a look on that such a project here. Um, I switch to all active projects and select here, for example, this Metro CRM introduction. And in this uh, project, we went here, we go here to the gun chart. And as you see, this is a very small project right now with one project node. Uh, and now I have here the functionality to add a sub node and you see there is a lot of more showing up than you might already know. So you can directly add, for example, here a face or directly add a task. So I add a face here and um, just name it uh, like we want to. So for example, in this case, I name it project face. And in the same way, I can add, add additional sub node. For example, there I add a sub project, um, project sub one, or I go here and add a node on the direct same level. For example, another face um, called uh, project phase two, um, or I I want to have where an activity, for example, I know I on the main node I want to have um, uh, I want to have a task here. Yeah? So for example, here just a task. Then the task shows up here, and I can create here a new task. So this en enhances the, um, the creation of project structures and um, uh, all the work breakdown structures and uh, activities a lot. Um, so you save time and your customer saves time and uh, you're even available to just assign it um, to someone else just by going here in the work breakdown structure and select someone else. For example, I select here Mia Green and then it's assigned to Mia Green. So we have there a lot of things that we did um, according to your feedbacks, according to all the partner feedbacks. The next great thing here, um, as we already saw in the um, PowerPoint slide, uh, is drag and drop. So we have drag and drop now. Drag and drop is uh, connected to this second column here. So if you go over by the mouse, you see this different mouse button showing uh, this uh, cursor. Um, and if you just go on a project node, you can select this for drag and drop. You take this project node take it away, take it to so another project node, just um, release the left mouse button and the project node will be removed. So now we have moved it down to this project node here um, and we can do the same for example if we just take it away, we don't want to have it there, we want to have it back on the mo main project node, just drag and drop it back. So by this um, you have a lot faster way, um, a much faster way to, to design how your project structure should look like. It's pretty much the same like you have in Microsoft Project. Um, so this is uh, what a lot of customers and partners asked us so that they can work more fast here in the um, gun chart and that's our um, answer to these requests. The third thing that we improved here in the gun chart um, according to the presentation slide is that you can just close tasks or project nodes even um, directly on this level. So for example if you know okay this project task here is already complete so the whole node is completed you can click here on the left side you can click one or many here so for example I click all these three so I know uh, these three are already completed and then you see this will get active the symbol here and you just click on it close and okay and then all these project nodes 
uh, will uh, be closed so they will not show up now because I'm not showing the completed as soon as I show the completed they show up again in green as completed again the question to all participants can you please mute your microphones so that uh, we don't have so much noise here in the conference room thank you okay that's that's the first um, improvement that we have done on the gun chart second improvement on the gun chart is everything about predecessor and successor the predecessor successor relationship now can be um, uh, modified so that it um, you can decide if you have one the, if you want to have a predecessor successor relationship finish to start start to start finish to finish start to finish so all the um, relationships that are uh, usually uh, used in project management and um, you can just create these predecessor successors from now on just with drag and drop um, that's pretty cool because you don't have enter anything uh, in the work breakdown structure. You can do it right away in the gun chart, and um, uh, so um, you can even um, adjust these uh, levels. Um, uh, um, uh, how the uh, predecessor uh, successor relationship is um, created uh, and uh, decide how many time lag there should be between those both. So. Let me show this right away in the live system again. I changed the project for uh, this presentation. Um, let me use i1 for this one. So here we have um, a project uh, a little bit bigger than the just one we saw now right now. So we have this I want project. I go into this realization project and we see for example uh, we have here a project node called infrastructure and here one which is called customizing. And first of all you see here all the relationships that already exist uh, shown in red. Um, you can switch on and off these relationships um, in the new feature rollup 7 just by using this um, button here. So if you do not want to show the connection, just switch, switch it off or switch it on. And now we create a new relationship between those both um, project nodes because we know this one, um, this one has to be started um, uh, in relation to this one, uh, but with a differentiation of 10 days. So just click on this, take this line here to the next one, uh, release the mouse button and then this uh, dialog shows up and you can decide what's the relationship type finish to start, start to start, start to finish or finish to finish and now we select start to start and want to have a time lag of 10 days in this case and now we see okay the relationship is from start to start here and um, the system completely considers this relationship as soon as you are working in the automatic mode so as soon as you switch the automatic mode on, you can now shift the, um, the first node, for example, um, some days later, and the system will consider it to the next node too. So for example, we want to start there, then it shifts everything later because we have this 10 days relationship here. And the system knows that it has to be 10 days later when we start this node here. Or we shift it back and it takes everything back too. If you switch off the automatic mode, then you can do everything by your own, so the system doesn't consider this relationship. To modify the relationship, just double click on the red line, and then you get again this dialog and you can change the relationship, or even delete it, or move, uh, um, change the time lag time lag that is given here. Okay, um, additionally we have done some graphical improvements in the um, project uh, gun chart and um, so we have now an, an highlighting for all the um, nodes which, which are overdue or uh, there you um, are not already working on. So if we just have a look again on this um, gun chart here of I1 CRM implementation, we see here such a symbol, uh, this red one, this, this red 
uh, symbol showing up um, means that um, you have either um, not been working on this one, not yet started or overdue, so in this case it's overdue because it should be ended on 27th of May and we are already on the uh, 2nd of June or um, it shows up uh, like this if you do not have any bookings or on any time entries on this line even if it's already uh, even the start date projected is in the past. So you see very easy um, which project node uh, should be cared about. Okay, these are the improvements on the gun chart. Uh, 